the concept of a, a place of effective management or in some jurisdictions have been known as a necklace or if you're talking about tre uh, tax treaties, the idea of a permanent establishment. So let's say that someone has a company set up in, let's say in the US or it could be Singapore, Hong Kong, whatever. So they have a, a company set up elsewhere outside of the Philippines. And they run that company from within the Philippines. So, you know, it doesn't matter where the income is collected, whether it's into a Filipino bank account or into a Hong Kong bank account. The point is that they're running that company from within the Philippines. My question is, is that company subject, generally speaking, of course, there'll be nuances, but generally speaking, is that company subject to taxes by the BIR? So the company is situated here in the Philippines, am I right? No, so that's that's the thing that I this know. is a common thing that we so the company is incorporated it's outside. It's incorporated elsewhere, but they're running it. The team that's running it is sitting in Manila. Oh, so there is a team that is are uh, running the business here in the Philippines. So I think there is what we call permanent establishment that whenever uh the the uh foreign company operates here in the Philippines by mm -hmm. either employees or office, mm -hmm. so that is considered a permanent establishment which made them taxable and liable here in the philippines absolutely you don't i mean this comes up all the time i actually had this guy got upset with me he uh <laughs> i'm sure he's not listening because he's upset with me so he incorporated a company in uh both hong kong and i think it was in taiwan but his main thing was in hong kong and he flew in this is during COVID. he flew into the philippines and he's running this company from the Philippines, he didn't leave. And I said, you know, he, he he came in for a consult and I said, hey, you're running your company from the Philippines. Chances are, I mean, I, I know we can get into a further conversation about who's going to find out and how they're going to know, but just being completely honest and following the law, if it is you're running that company from the Philippines, you need to have a conversation with the BIR. And he got upset with me, but you you absolutely, I'm glad that you're, you're echoing those sentiments. It is commonly misunderstood. People seem to think that just by the mere act of incorporating a company somewhere else in Timbuktu, in the Cook Islands or whatever, that they can go somewhere else and then be completely tax-free. So I'm you know, glad we clarified that. So if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.